Okay, so you're getting ready to uh, review your paperwork on a yearly basis. Think ahead. If you're adding new activities, if you're adding new features, you want to update your park rules and guidelines and you want to update your waivers. Really important. Um, if you do change something midterm, then you want to have something specific uh, for that particular feature. So if you're adding canoeing or if you're adding uh, say a water blog or a jumping pillow you want to have um, rules specific for that and and sign offs and waivers etc but if you're doing it in the beginning of the year it's a good idea to include it in your main guidelines and it, it makes it easier for everybody to just streamline the process have one huge guideline of what the rules are for everything and there's no saying that there's no reason that you can't also then when you go to do the jumping pillow, for example, have additional rules that are there that you sign off on at that point if you're signing up to do jumping pillow. But if you have it also in the main guidelines, it reinforces it. And you think about it, you're, you're constantly educating your campers at your park. And I heard once that it takes seven times to say something before it really gets through uh, to people. So you want to, as a leader, you want to build the safety features and the guidelines into all of your paperwork, but also into your culture. Educate your staff on it. Have them talk about it early and often. And, you know, that way, you, you know, everyone has a clear expectation verbally, in written. It becomes a part of who you are. And uh, if you have any questions about setting up waivers, uh, rules, guidelines, feel welcome to contact us at Marshall and Sterling. We're not just providing insurance policies for RV parks. We're here to be risk managers. We're here to be an extension of your campground. We want to help you achieve your goals safely and we want you to make your park a fun place to go.